How's it going everyone? I want to go over an update on the PlayStation Plus deal that is running right now where you can upgrade your subscription and save 25% off. Well, a Redditor has discovered that the Black Friday discount allows stacking and upgrading. We'll go over that. Credit to Hit the Clown over on the PlayStation Plus subreddit for discovering this because this is something I had not even known about and then PlayStation Lifestyle had brought it to light. So I'll bring it to light to you guys if you don't know about this but we'll talk about that free upgrade available right now and a new title available on playstation 5 and xbox series and a bit of an update on final fantasy 16 to be had at the end of this video but more on that in a little bit first of all playstation plus black friday discount allows stacking and upgrading with a hundred dollar cap so i'll leave a link to the reddit post in the description box below again coming from hit the clown uh, confirming you can stack years of discounted PS Plus Essential from Black Friday sale and then upgrade all of it at a capped $100 rate. Now, this is this Reddit user's post, so I'm just going to read it, so it describes... It explains it pretty well. I've been scrolling all over to find a clear message that you can abuse this sale. It's not really abuse. Uh, abuse this sale to get a bunch of discounted years of essential while still on the lowest level and then immediately turn around and use the capped upgrade to extra to convert them all. I decided to make the leap and can confirm it still works as intended. Added six years from 2024 to a new end date of 2030, then a $100 flat upgrade fee for my whole allotment. So, What's going on is this user, I imagine, had a PlayStation Plus Essential subscription, extended his subscription, adding another six years, and then spent $100 on top of that to upgrade that allotment of time he is subscribed for to then have PlayStation Plus Extra for that entire period of time because $100, I believe, is the max that they'll charge you for the upgrade. So essentially, this user has gotten eight years of PlayStation Plus uh, Extra and savings were nearly $250 plus, essentially paying for the years of essential I bought in the first place, just the PSA for those looking, and there was no need to use alt sources or try to sneak around Sony, this was all done entirely within the PlayStation Network app and my PlayStation Network wallet. So, this user mentioned they abused the sale. I wouldn't say that's abuse. This is just being incredibly intelligent, and I had not even thought about uh, this being a thing you could do. This user just uh, figured this out, so credit to the user. And uh, yeah, if you do want to upgrade to PlayStation Plus Extra, which is by far the most value that you're going to get, because who the hell knows if Sony's ever going to put any emphasis towards PlayStation Plus Premium outside of giving you Borderlands the Handsome Collection, which that probably shouldn't even be in that tier, but nonetheless uh extra is actually very very good like if you want to talk about having a subscription service with a lot of quality titles extra is pretty darn good it's not game pass good let's not get it twisted but you got stray you got ghost of tsushima director's cut you got returnal i'm sure they'll add ratchet and clank in there at some point you got demon souls in there sackboy a big adventure hopefully will come at some point you got all the kingdom hearts games like that alone gives so much value to that service and I feel like because premium is so bad that it kind of hides away the fact that extra is actually really, really good. Uh, again, not Game Pass good, but pretty darn good, uh, all things considered. And I think you guys will really uh, enjoy an extra subscription. And even then, like, I have a PS Plus uh, premium subscription. Like, I'm just a shill and I have that. And, uh, you know, I use the gimmick and I got it for mad years. But... I am using the game catalog just because a lot of those games I have uh, physically, so like just being able to download it is so convenient for me. That's like my primary use of the extra tier, just because, you know, I I I'm a shill and I buy everything, so like I already own the majority of games that are there, but um, you know, like I downloaded Horizon Zero Dawn just because I wanted to play that, and I'm like, okay, I can be lazy and not put the disc in. Like, the little things go a long way for me, but uh, I would hope Premium will eventually get some emphasis from Sony, but if you're looking to extend your PlayStation Plus, if you're looking for a decent workaround, uh, hit the clown, found a pretty clever one, and uh, utilize that, so you can save a little bit more. All right, moving on from that, Super Liminal is now available for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. This is a perspective puzzle game, and it's now available for next generation consoles. If you already own the game for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, you will, of course, get a free upgrade. The new version of the game runs in 4K resolution and 60 frames per second, and also includes a developer mode and a challenge mode. The game notes falling asleep at 3 a.m. You close your eyes to the cheesy commercial of Dr. Pierce's dream therapy program. You wake up in an unfamiliar environment 
environment only to realize that you're stuck in a dream, a dream where perception is reality. Welcome to Super Liminal. It's a first person puzzle game inspired by perspective and optical illusions. Players tackle impossible puzzles by thinking outside the box and learning to expect the unexpected. This game features a wonderfully subdued world, an intriguingly voiced narrative, and things that are really weird. We do have an upgrade trailer available right now. This is more of a trippy puzzle game. Might not be for everyone, but if you can find it at a bit of a discount, might be something you want to check out. The game has had an overwhelmingly positive reception on Steam. $19.99 is the price point, and uh, yeah, received pretty well if you're into puzzlers, something to keep on your radar. And again, if you already own the game, you'll get a free upgrade. Lastly, I do want to note my most anticipated game of 2023. It's, you know, there's a lot of dogs in this race. Don't get it twisted. But Final Fantasy 16 probably stands out to me as the game that I'm looking forward to the most. I'm just, you know, a shill for Final Fantasy. I buy them all. And uh, while Final Fantasy 15 didn't really enamor me all too much, 16 looks incredible in my eyes. And it could be announced, a release date that is, at the Game Awards coming from Insider Gaming. Jeff Keighley's annual event takes place on December the 8th and of course the event while it is to honor the best games of the year most people look forward to it or a lot of people i would say look forward to it based on the fact that there's usually some big announcements and final fantasy 16 was slated to get a big update a new trailer and a release date by the end of the year and given that the game is scheduled for summer of 2023 we had heard that the game is pretty far along in development getting a release date out at a game award show where there's certainly going to be a ton of people watching and then opening up pre-orders for everybody that makes all the sense in the world to me. Final Fantasy 16, I think, is an opportunity to make a Final Fantasy game that will almost be unanimously praised. I think in the era of the internet and everybody having varying opinions, you can't really make a unanimously well-received game. That's just kind of difficult, but I would say that Final Fantasy 15, 13, and if you go back, even Final Fantasy 12, all of those games were pretty darn decisive as far as some people really liking them, some people not. I liked 12 and 13, and I love 13 compared to a lot of other people. Um, yeah, line uh, linearity be damned. Is that the word, linearity? Yeah, I think it is. But linearity be damned. I thought 13 was an awesome game. Um, Final Fantasy 15 just was not a big fan of that but 16 really liking what i'm seeing out of it and i have a lot of faith in the team that's working on this game and i think it's going to turn out fairly well if nothing else we'll get a great soundtrack that we can listen to for years and years but nonetheless uh, i think ff16 is going to turn out pretty well the gameplays look solid it's not a full-blown open world which i am entirely down for because if you have been following the narrative aspects of this game it would be kind of difficult to do a full-on open world just because of the changes that the game is going for at least that's how i I interpreted it, but um, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I think it's gonna be pretty good, and uh, summer 2023, and remember, in the standards of Final Fantasy, we heard about this game back in June of 2020 at that PlayStation 5 reveal event. Three year turnaround for a Final Fantasy game to, to, uh, to come out, that is an automatic gigantic W in my book. The 10 years waiting for Final Fantasy 15, the 5 years for the 7 remake, I mean, 3 years is a pretty swift turnaround, but uh, that's gonna do it for me. Again, get PS Plus a little bit cheaper if you do uh, go with the stacking trick, and uh, you can end up getting a PS Plus extra pretty cheap and get a bunch of years out of it. Super liminal, free upgrade on that, available now on PS5 and Xbox Series, and Final Fantasy 16, rumored to get a release date announced at the end of the year at the Game Awards. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.